Okay, so now that we have Google Tag Manager set up and ready on your site, I'm gonna show you how to install the Google Analytics tag. I'm just gonna assume you're using Google Analytics. If you're using Clicky or some other thing, you can do it the same way here, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna use this site here, lacesout.net. This is one of my sites. Tag Manager is all set up and verified. Then we're just gonna come here to add new tag. So again, just to reiterate, previously, when you were installing Google Analytics or Analytics on your site, you were taking the analytics tracking code and you were putting it into your control panel, which was injecting the code onto all of your pages in the header tag. Same thing with Facebook, AdWords, all of these things that you might have had on your site. Again, now we're just going to create a tag within the Google Tag Manager container and it's going to handle that for you. So let me show you how easy it is. So all we're going to do here is we're going to click on Google Analytics, Universal. And then here, this tracking ID, we need to go into Google Analytics to find it. So just match it with the site that you want. Come up here to Admin. Under Property, you're going to come here to Tracking Info, and then just click Tracking Code. Now, this is previously, again, if you were doing this manually before without Tag Manager, this is the JavaScript code right here that you were putting on your site in the header tag. Again, all we have to do is get this into Tag Manager and it'll handle that for us. So all we're gonna do here is take the tracking ID and Tag Manager's intuitive. It's gonna associate this tracking ID with this tracking code and it's gonna inject it in there for us. So we're just gonna highlight, copy it, paste it here, leave this as page view, click continue. And then we wanna make sure that we're firing this on all pages, right? This is because Google Analytics, we want it to track every single page. You could do some pages if you're going to do a, a special type of implementation. Uh, but again, for this, we just want to stick with all pages. This is the basic Google Analytics implementation. This is a standard implementation. This is how you want to do it. And then you're just going to click Create Tag. Now, I already have this tag on my site, so I'm not going to redo it. But once I'm going to show you how to verify now. So you just click, click, click Create Tag. You're going to come in here to Publish. You can use the debug, the preview and debug within uh Tag Manager, but I actually prefer to use this plugin here on my site. So I'm just going to visit the site here. And again, this is the uh, Google Tag Assistant made by Google. All I'm going to do is click on it and click Enable. And then I just got to refresh the page. And you can see here the Google Analytics tag is on it. Tag Manager, they are both on and they are both green and working. It's that, that easy. And you can also see the Tag Manager debugger down here, the preview. Um, we'll get into the Facebook Pixel a little bit later, but you can see here the tag being fired on this page are Universal Analytics. And again, down here I have a uh, custom tag for form submissions that I'm tracking, which I'll show you guys later in this training series. No need to worry. But you can see here that Universal Analytics is firing. It fired one time it's good, we're all set. So it's really that easy. We now have Google Analytics set up. You can verify it by coming in here to your reporting and just making sure, um, you know, if you check real time, I'll have my IP blocked right now, but you should see that your traffic is on the site um, and you're good to go. So that right there, uh, then when you come back in here to tag, I'm just gonna just discard tags, you'll see the universal index here is firing um, and you're good to go. And that right there is how you put Google Analytics into Google Tag Manager and get it working. So uh, in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to get the Facebook pixel on your pages and firing in a very, very quick and easy manner too. So I will see you guys in the next video.